Am I the a-hole for getting mad at my girlfriend for telling me to stop pretending I have a sister? Throw away because I'd prefer not to tie this to my mane. I am an only child and I had a strange upbringing. My parents were miserable and thought having a child would make them happy again. It did not. Although they didn't yell at me or abuse me, there was no affection either towards each other or me. They fed me, clothed me, and otherwise left me to their own devices. They were constantly not home to avoid each other, and when they were, they fought. I was mostly ignored. When I was about 10, a young woman, Angie, moved in nearby. She would have been 18 at the time and lived alone. She saw how my parents treated me and would talk to me and hang out with me because I spent so much time alone. Over time, I started going to her place. She would cook for me, help me with the homework, and take me places like the movies and such. I even stayed at her place sometimes and my parents probably didn't even notice I was gone. Everywhere we went, Angie would just tell people she was my sister. So that was how I started thinking of her and calling her and still do to this day. Fast forward to now when I'm 30 and Angie is 38. I still see her as my sister and even though we live a way apart, I still call her and occasionally visit her. She still calls me her brother. I've had a few girlfriends over the years. I've explained the situation to them. Some have been understanding and some haven't. My current girlfriend, Joni, was one of the understanding ones. I thought, we've been together nearly a year and I have explained the whole Angie situation to her. I recently met Johnny's parents, which I thought went well, and she asked to meet my family. Since I have no relation with my parents, I asked if she wanted to have dinner with Angie. At this, Jody went quiet and eventually said it was time I stopped pretending Angie is my sister and that she's not real family. I told her Angie is the only person who gave a toss about me growing up that makes her my family. She then went on a rant about how it's creepy a grown woman would want to hang out with a kid and I asked her to leave. Now I feel bad. I feel like I should have been more understanding of her perspective and tried to put her mind at ease. A mighty a-hole. Now for the top comments. Here is a comment from Mysterious Taint. Not the a-hole. Get rid of the girlfriend. She's clearly jealous of the relationship you had with your sister. Blood isn't the only thing that ties family to one another. If she can't handle your relationship with this person, they need to beat feet. Here's another comment from Middle Name Danger 17. The blood of the coven is thicker than the water of the womb. Relationship with people whom you've chosen are stronger than those with whom you share DNA. Strong, not a hole. Girlfriend can eat rocks. Edit. Spelling. And here's another comment. Not the a-hole. A wise person once said, Blood only goes so far in determining family. It's the bonds that truly define a family. If your girlfriend can't accept your relationship with your sister, then that's not cool. Here's another comment from She X Leash. I had someone tell me that this saying was updated and not the original. I fully agree with you. Though chosen family relationships are stronger, I also use the blood of the battlefield instead of the covenant cause people who go through hard times times with us have that strong bond too. OP not the a-hole and the parents being emotional withdrawn is a form of abuse. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for walking out my sister's wedding after she tried to use me as free childcare? Obligatory throwaway. Long time lurker disclaimer because apparently that matters. A few months ago, I, 31 male, and my sister, 29 female, announced that she was going to get married. The planning process took a while but the date venue were agreed on. Now, my sister has a baby, one year old male, that just loves to cry. He cries all the time unless someone takes him outside for fresh air. So a few days ago, the wedding started. Because I was out of town, I missed a night before the wedding. Basically, a get-together period for family members and a big party. But showed up for the ceremony and the reception. The second I got there, my sister asked me to take the baby outside in order to come him down. I agreed because the ceremony hadn't started yet. But she asked me 
to take the baby outside again a while later. When I asked him why the baby didn't have a sitter, she said that they spent all the money on the ceremony and parties. I was kind of annoyed because I wanted to sit on the ceremony, but just about everyone jumped on me telling me to do my sister a favor and that it was her day. I asked her about when I was expected to take the baby out for fresh air and she gave me this huge list of times that basically meant I missed out on the important parts. I wouldn't be there for the exchanging of vows, the reception, the aisle walk, the readings, the kiss, etc. I figured out that in total, I would have about 30 minutes actually sitting inside, and the rest was just about the baby. When I pointed this out to her, she said someone would videotape it for me, but I wasn't convinced. I wanted to watch my sister reach a milestone, and that was what I came for. I told her that someone else could watch the baby for her, and that as her brother, I wanted to watch the wedding and not have to miss her getting married. Again, she told me to just do it. I was really mad but tried not to show it on the outside. When I asked about the reception, she told me, Oh, you'll have to miss out. Baby's name needs to be outside and has to be fed. That was the final straw. And when my mother was holding the baby, I slipped out and just left. The next day, I get a call from my sister and she's screaming about how I ruined her wedding and how the baby wouldn't stop crying. I I told her that I left because she treated me like a babysitter instead of a guest or family member and said that it was her fault if she couldn't get a nanny or ask a friend to do it. Since then, I've been nuked with calls from my family calling me selfish and telling me that I'm effectively disowned unless I apologize. I see no reason to. Am I the a-hole? Top comments. Here's a comment. Not the a-hole. Why couldn't she rotate baby Judy between family members? She basically implied you were the least important person for her at the wedding. Plus, how expensive expensive would it have been to hire a babysitter or your parents could have chipped in and gotten one. Here's another comment from Good Girl's Grace. Even more important, why didn't sister ask OP beforehand? It's not only the least important person at the wedding for the bride, but also not important enough to be notified prior to the actual ceremony. Jeez. OP's sister's planning is very poor. Not having family members rotate the duty is one thing. But blowing all the money on parties without regard to their own child is another. OP, not the a-hole at all. 1. You are not free child care. Expecting you to single-handedly take care of a child, any child that isn't your own without prior consultation and agreement, is a hairy and disrespectful. 2. She has months to plan the wedding. There's more than enough time to hire a babysitter for a ceremony. For planning and for wanting to leave you, no choice is totally on her and you are within your right to refuse. 3. Even if there's no babysitter due to accident, which I doubt, the guests can still rotate the babysitting duty. Forcing all of that on you just shows how little she values you as a guest, not a babysitter. Here's another comment from do not reply 111. She didn't ask beforehand because it meant he could say no and effectively not come at all, leaving her in the same situation. She hedged her bets on him being there and following through on the sunk cost fallacy or being guilted into it. She hedged wrong. Here's another comment from Rigo Vaisal. Opie's sister's planning is very poor. The end result might be blessing in disguise since Opie doesn't have to deal with something like this in the future. Opie might be missing opportunity to be a free last minute note notice babysitter.